In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Saturday the 5th, and we were asking, what does God want of men? So today now we can find, because we, today we conclude, so we can say that uh, God wants men who are conscious of themselves. God wants men who love themselves. In terms of loving yourself, whoever you meet, whatever you socialize, give the love that you would want to get. Sometimes we are too over demanding. But again, what we, what we give is small. What we expect is gigantic. It doesn't work that way. Work for authenticity. Be you. Don't be someone else. Some of you are actually living life that is not yours. You are living somebody else's life. That person is unique. My dear brother, you are unique. You cannot live in, under somebody's shadow forever. Some of you are perpetually in the pocket of others. You have no authenticity because you can only think when so and so is thinking. In our country, Kenya, right now we are going through campaigns. And there are men who will abdicate their duties as husbands and dads. And they will be pocketed by politicians. And this is sad. You are following someone in the name of campaigning for them. But what you have forgotten is that this person is looking for a job. You mess your job to escort someone who is going to look for a job. I have no issue with men following politics. But I have a problem when you are living in the pocket of somebody else. It is not right. You may not be as rich as anybody else is. But it is also wrong, so wrong, to live in the pocket of a rich guy somewhere. Haven't I heard of men who have been pocketed by rich women? Rich women. You live in her hard bag. Some of you have ran away from your wives to go and live in the hard bag of an old woman because your wife has no vehicle. But your ancestor, girlfriend, has vehicles. Your wife has no money. But your old girlfriend, the age of your mother plus, has a lot of money. So now, <laughs> you are just like a pet. You are like a pet to her. Because when a woman keeps you, she puppeteers you. You have no freedom. You cannot tell her anything. She's the one who is keeping you. She pays your bills. You are there as an object to be used for as long as she can. How did you get there? Because you have never loved yourself. You live in somebody else's pocket. You can't speak the truth. You can't say anything. It is so wrong. It is so wrong. And it is not just only for you as uh, laymen. <laughs> Even ourselves, we, we are also accused. Some of us have sold our identity and our pride. And we live in the pocket of rich families, rich brothers and sisters, rich friends. So even... Our homilies are compromised because we cannot tackle real issues. Because the family which has pocketed you, they can be accused. A certain man or woman who has pocketed you could be accused of that. So you now become so shallow even in your preaching, everything. And we have so many priests who live in the pockets of rich men and women. It is so sad. That is why I said uh, this debate is for all of us. 
I am not addressing myself to laymen. I'm also addressing myself to religious men. Men of the cloth. Sometimes we are also accused. Some of us, even in our parishes, we only, only, we only get concerned when a rich member of some congregation is concerned. We want to go for masses in those big families. When it comes to rich people, we don't ask hard questions. When it comes to poor people, uh, that is where now they see your true colors. Digging their books from 1935, when their grandparents were getting circumcised. Now you wonder, what is happening here? <laughs> Dear men, it is sad, it is not right. Let us be ourselves. Never leave under anybody's shadow. Those of you who are in the pockets of rich men and women, get out of that pocket. Tell them thank you for the time they have pocketed you. Those of you who, are, who abdicated their families to be pocketed by a rich woman, go back to your wife. Go back to your children. Those of you who left your family to live in the pocket of another man because he is rich, Get out of that pocket. Go back to your wife. Go back to your children. That is where you belong. Let us learn to be ourselves. Let us learn to be authentic. Let's love each other. Our rich men and women are our friends, our congregants, our brothers and sisters, our cousins, our everything. Mention them. But you can't be them. You can only be you. And if somebody is helping you, Refuse to ever be dehumanized because somebody helps you to pay bills. Let them help you, but please allow them. Allow, allow yourself to retain your humanity and your identity. Carry yourself with some self-pride. Some pride is important. Please, don't just go about life like a, like a domesticated animal. No. You are a man, a masterpiece of God. That, that you have no money does not make you less of a human being. No, please. No, please. Refuse to be dehumanized because of your poverty. Refuse. Go back to God and tell him, My father, I know on this area I'm, I am wanting. But I know you can come through for me because you are God of more than enough. Dear men, Keep that identity. God loves you. Learn from your mistakes. Refuse to, re to repeat the mistakes that you have made. Let you be counted among the great men who lived. Let me tell you today as your priest, there are some of us who will die and be forgotten even before we are buried. There are some of us whose history will forget us. Oh yes, how will that happen? Because maybe of the life that we lived. Can we be counted among the great men who lived? Yes, we can. Dear men, we are not late. And we said the other day, we cannot give up on ourselves. Let's come together. Let us have a dialogue. Please let us do. Let's go back to God. God expect us to retain that, that uh, tag he gave us. My masterpiece. My beloved son. This is my son with whom I am beloved. I am pleased by this, my son. When he said that, he meant you by extension. You. You, man, you are the one. He says, you are my son and I love you the way you are. Then there is nobody who can love you the way God can. Please, let us refuse to be taken for granted. Let us refuse to be dehumanized because of our poverty. Let us refuse to be pocketed by men or women. Refuse. Wake up and say enough is enough. Take your luggage. Go back to your mother or to your wife or to yourself. Learn to love yourself. Dear men, my brothers, 
learn to love yourself. Yes, men, I'm talking to us. Let us learn to love ourselves. As your priest, I wish you well. I bless you with the blessings of God, the blessings of longevity of life, the blessings of a wealthy life, the blessings of a healthy and a productive life. May it be well with you today and all the days of your life. And may the Almighty God bless all of you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Remember what we said, gracious women? Though these cities are for men, share them with your husbands, with your dads, with your boyfriends, with your sons. Let them hear that they are the best that God ever created. You can also share with me. I am also your friend. Allah. Tomorrow at exactly 8, we celebrate the first Sunday of Lent. The first Sunday of Lent. Please join me at 8 East African time. Thank you.